Happy Monday. It's time for Ask the Expert with Rob Sutherland from Pro Broker Agency. I'm Layla Gulen. And Rob, my first question this week is, how many calls does it take to get an appointment? Wow, that is a great question. A lot of people think that, you know, recruiting appointments are going to come through social media or come through an email campaign. You've got to call the realtors in your area and you've got to ask them to go for coffee. Now, when we look at our metrics as a company overall, we see that it takes usually about an hour of phone calls to get an appointment, maybe two hours of phone calls. So if you look at an hour where you can maybe fit in 20 or 30 calls, it should take you, you know, less than 50 calls to get an appointment and it should take you no more than 60 calls to get someone in the office. If you're making that many calls and not really connecting with people and not getting the appointments, you're probably not calling the right people or you've got the wrong person on the phone. Mm. Now, what should be discussed on a recruitment call? You should ask questions. You should never get on a recruiting call with a realtor and start telling them about your business and how great you are and your offering and we can do this for you. Never ever do that. Get on the phone and ask them questions. How has business been for you in the last couple of years? Did you get a resurgence during COVID? How did things go You know, within the last couple of months with your sales? I see that you sold a house three months ago. Why haven't you sold a house in, in two months, the last two months? Like, Get on the phone, ask them strategic questions about their business and show that you care. Don't just get on there and do a pitch because they're just gonna hang up on you. Now, once you have that calendar set, what are the next steps after setting an appointment? I think the next steps are following up to make sure they're going to come in and meet with you and maybe send them some stuff that they can help them with their business. Start giving them part of your offering then. After you've had them on the phone and done an initial call and a consultation, we'll call it, you know, find out what their needs are and then send them a follow up email and say, hey, here's some of the things we have to offer. Maybe this would fit in with your business and really get them juiced up about your company. Another great thing is to send a little video. You know, I think that's the easiest thing that's come out of everything in the last 10 years is how quickly you can send a video to somebody. Get in front of your camera on your phone, send a little video that talks about their business and how you can help them and send it over to them on a text. It's another way to follow up before the appointment to make sure they show up. Fantastic wisdom once again, Rob. For more information on PBA, just be sure to click on that link below, probrokeragency.com. We want to thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again on Friday for another episode of Ask the Expert with Rob Sutherland. Have an amazing week.